Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share my channel to your friends if you like it. In this video, I am going to talk about the scalar functions from the snowflake. This is the second video from the snowflake sql function reference playlist scalar functions functions that are, that can take a single value or row as input and return a single value is called the scalar functions scalar functions can be broadly divided into different categories they are bitwise bitwise expression functions performs the bitwise operations on expressions like bit and bit and bit and aggregate bit not bit r anyhow i am going to talk about each and every category in separate video in that we will discuss with examples for these all categories the second one is the conditional expression functions manipulates the conditional expressions Third one is the context functions, provides a contextual information about the current environment, session or object like current schema, current date, current region, all these things comes under the context functions. These content functions will very helpful as part of your regular activities in the snowflake. Conversion functions. Conversion functions convert expressions from one data type to another data type. For example, if you want to convert a date which is comes from the string into a date format. So, to, to underscore date by using the to underscore date conversion function, we can convert a string to date if date is a valid format. De fourth one is the data generation functions. Generates a random or a sequential values. In this case, if you want to generate a random number like 1, 10, 20 like that. So, Snowflake provides the random functions under data generation functions category. Date and time functions. This is this manipulates the dates, times and functions. Encryption functions. Performs the encryption and decryption on varchar or a binary values. Geospatial functions. Work with the geospatial data and numeric functions. Perform rounding, truncation, exponent, root, logarithmic and trigonometric operations on numeric values. Semi-structured data functions. Work with the semi-structured data like JSON, Avro, Parquet, XML, etc. We have a three types of semi-structured data functions. Array, object, variant data types. String and binary functions manipulates and transforms the string input. String functions regular expressions. So these are the subset of the string functions for performing operations on items that match a regular expressions like instr underscore expr. The last one is the utility and hash functions from the scalar functions. These functions works on hash values to sign 64 bit integers using a deterministic algorithm that means it will always generate the same value instead of randomly generating the values that's that's all from this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to Click on bell icon for the notifications. Please share it and like it. Thank you once again for watching my video.